wanted to show you guys a wreath that I've been really excited about showing you. You make it just out of coffee filters and it's really cute and really easy to make. So the supplies that you're going to need for this wreath are a foam wreath, and I just got this at Michael's, some coffee filters, and they have brown and white ones, so whatever you prefer. I'll talk a little bit more about that later. And a hot glue gun. And plenty of glue sticks, you're going to need a lot. So for this wreath, I used a bigger one. It was bigger than this one, a size up, and I don't recommend doing that. I would go with the smaller size, because a wreath this size took about 400 coffee filters and a lot of time. So I would recommend going a little smaller and using less coffee filters. Also, I'll show you how to put them on in just a minute, but I bunched them really, really tight together. And you don't have to do that. I liked how it looked. And quickly, I wanted to talk about a mistake that I made on this wreath, and I'm so disappointed and sad, but it's okay because I'm gonna fix it and make it look better. But for today, I just wanted to show you what will happen if you put white coffee filters all over your wreath and then you run out and decide that you'll just finish with brown ones? You're going to be able to see that. So make sure that if you're wanting to spray paint your wreath or keep it white, which is really cute too, that you finish the whole thing with white ones and buy plenty. If you run out, go and grab some new ones. But it's also really cute to use the brown ones. There's a lot that you can do with the brown ones. You can leave it brown and add cute cream and pink flowers. So there's a lot that you can do with it. I did mess up on this one, but I have a few things planned to try to fix it and make it look a little bit better, and I will be sure to post those pictures. But it really is cute and fun still. And then of course I just added some ribbon to the top, and I'm going to hang it. Something else you can do is add some cute flowers, or I also thought it would be cute to add like a wooden bee or whatever your last name is just to personalize it a little bit more. So it's also fun, uh, you can do different colors for different seasons, and I think that I'll make more and post pictures of those, so I'll be sure to do that. So to start out with, I'm just going to separate the coffee filter so that you can just grab it. It's gonna be a lot easier than trying to pull them apart. So just separate a few. And I just took the wreath and used this as a marker. You're going to want to tie a ribbon around the middle, so you're gonna to wanna to leave a section out where you can tie that. So I'm just gonna go in about an inch from each side and make sure to stop there at those points. So you're just gonna take your glue gun and put a drop of glue down. And then take your coffee filter and just crumble it up. And then here at the bottom, you're gonna to wanna to make that flat. So just kind of push that flat like that. And then just push that down on that glue. And I burned myself a lot, so be really careful. But you're gonna to wanna to hold that for just a couple seconds. When I first started, I don't know why, but for some reason, my pieces didn't wanna stick. So don't get frustrated, just keep putting them on. Then they kind of hold each other down. Like I said, with my wreath, I bunched them really close together. And you don't have to do that because you can glue them down and then kind of open them up and make it a little bit bigger, which would have saved a lot of time and you won't need to use as many coffee filters. Okay, you guys, so that's it. I just wanted to show you how to get started on your coffee filter wreath. This is just the beginning. Just continue on all the way around. And like I said, it's really cute to leave it plain white or brown. And then you can also just spray paint it. Just, just spray the whole thing. It's really easy. So let me know if you guys try this. It's really cute also to cover foam balls or lampshades, it's really cute. I actually got this idea from a friend's blog and I will leave the information down below. It's a really cute blog and you guys should check it out. So thank you so much for watching. Please, if you guys try this at home, send me pictures. I love seeing all the different crafts that you guys do at home. Let me know what you think down in the comments below or on Facebook and Twitter and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.